Golden Triangle getting some much needed rain today, but it came in the form of very severe weather. Meteorologist Brian Rupp is tracking the storm, so Brian is more rain on the way. Well, the good news, Eric, is I think there will be some more rain on the way for a majority of us. I think the severe weather is going to mm -hmm. die down. But having said that, if you're in Port Arthur, Sabine Pass, extreme southern Jefferson County, the worst of it for you guys is not quite over. So let's take a look at radar. Get immediately to pinpoint Doppler radar. And you can see there is the worst of the activity there in portions of southern Jefferson County. Now, because of this, the National Weather Service has extended the severe thunderstorm warning that was in effect now until 630. And that's primarily going to be for areas of Port Arthur and South. That's where the most intense activity is. Right along the coast, Sabine, up to Port Arthur. That's the heaviest wind activity, the most lightning, and the heaviest rain as well. I'm going to show you some, uh, I want to zoom out here and show you actually X vision and show you why the intensities of the shower and thunderstorm activity is actually going down. Now we're tilting back. We're looking inside the showers and the thunderstorms, and there is some good news here. On the front of the storms, they're only about 30,000 feet tall. Now that is much better than we had earlier when these storms were about 60,000 feet tall. As I move this back, you can see 20, 30, 40,000 all the way back to Beaumont, and then it just completely falls apart and goes back to some normal rain. So the worst is from Beaumont for, uh, forward to about uh, the Sabine, Sabine Pass area. I also want to show you here on X-Vision, there's a little bit of tilting here on the west side uh, out towards the Chambers in Liberty County. This storm could be in the process of collapsing. If it does, then you're going to get some very high winds on the ground in Liberty and Chambers County coming up in the next few minutes. I want to zoom out and also show you what's been going on over towards uh, Cameron Parish and Calcasieu Parish. There has been some rather intense activity there. In fact, that's where the most intense shower and thunderstorm activity is. Luckily, this is a highly rural area, so I don't know if many Louisianians are being affected at this point, but the worst of it certainly has come to an end at this hour. I want to change over and show you some of the rain or show you the motion of the storms and why this actually happened today. I actually started earlier today up just north of Jasper as a large thunderstorm complex formed in this region right here and then pressed off to the south and to the east, which as you can see has happened at this point. Now back up towards Jasper and uh, the Newton area, very quiet. Things are dying down rather quickly, so I think that's going to be the trend as we go through the evenings. I want to explain, though, Erica, what actually happened earlier today because many people gave us phone calls. You even noticed, you said, Brian, the winds, the rain yeah. is just Hold phenomenal. So what happened, bad out there. Yeah. storm formed, and then it collapsed on itself. It's almost like dropping a bowling ball, mm -hmm. and that's why we had such extreme winds on the ground. But I think, as I said, the worst is almost over. Oh, that's good news. But next in the path of the storm, did you say Sabine uh, Pass? Sabine Pass, okay. uh, Port Arthur, and then it'll die down. And we'll talk about if we have the opportunity in a few minutes for this to happen again tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Brian. Okay. Well, police say... Well